was seen before them. Sudar Saran to answer the question before him. My lord, my lady, and gentle them. Did night fall, or did merely the arrow of Mongol hordes block out the sun? Before you comes a man, a beast of burden, whose services so great, so noble, so impressive, he is like the many yaks he spoke of. <laughs> so great is his service, so great his generosity, that he left behind him his hair <laughs> with his station. <laughs> your Majesties, Your Highnesses, Your Highness, Your Majesty. <laughs> before you, Suter Sarat, to answer the question before him. through their eyes that I am? And my answer is yes. Their Majesties call forth their Order of the Pelican. I'm Ozzy the Boot Giver. How are you? And it would be my honor if you would allow me to speak for my friends today. Thank you. Um, often the chivalry asks to speak of a knightly virtue. Uh, for you, I decided to speak on loyalty. We normally ask a knight to be loyal to their crown, to swing their swords, their axe, their spear, whatever it may be, whenever called on by their crown. And you show more loyalty than I have seen in any knight to your friends, to your local area, your barony, and to your kingdom. You have traveled across these lands, personally helping me do many a thing, making sure that wherever I traveled, I wasn't alone, and I'd always have somebody familiar and a friend at my back. You've done this for 
not only me personally, but you do this for your kingdom in the way that you travel around and you're always helping. Your service is your loyalty and you're the most loyal person that I know, which means that you serve more than a lot of people I've ever seen. So hey, you are not only one of my greatest friends, a great man, but you are in fact my peer. I thank you, your majesty for doing this for great man. Is there an order of the laurels that will speak for this man? Hi. It's me. I'm the laurel, it's me. Your Majesty's made a request, everyone. Thank you. I apologize for turning my back on you. I had to write this because I cried through most of it. <clears throat> And first, I just want to say that I'm very honored to speak today as a Laurel on behalf of my friend Suter and hope that my words do him justice. As a Laurel, creating art is my joy and sometimes my frustration. Skills are honed through research, time, practice, patience, sometimes a lack of, making mistakes and learning from those mistakes all the while hoping that the end product is a success. I don't think there can be anything more successful or important than the creation, than forming of friendships and long-lasting relationships, something that Souter does with such great ease. As Viceroy for the Crown Province of Uskard for over six years, he has taken his skills along with his level-headedness, calm demeanor, humility, kindness, goodness, compassion, and care. And he's put them to use throughout the East Kingdom and of course at home in Uskard. When challenging situations arose, yes, we, we did have some, um, he dealt with them with the fairness, no matter if he agreed or not. It is that strength, determination, and wisdom to do the right thing, even though it's not always easy to, that has earned him the respect of so many. He clearly has mine. Sometimes when I'm frustrated about circumstances, it is his reassuring words that make me rethink the situation. And I ask, why is Souter always right? <laughs> Souter is right because he genuinely cares. Suter is right because he doesn't make it about him. Suter is right because it's always about others and makes sure that the end product that he creates is one of peace, resolution, and friendship. Of course, Suter is right. <laughs> Your Majesties, just in case it wasn't clear, I wholeheartedly recommend Suter as a peer because he has always been my peer. Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of the Rose who will speak for this man? Your Majesty. Ah, the case of Isabella, Duchess, Countess, Baroness, Order of the Compania of the Laurel and the Pelican. And yet I stand before you in the body of a weak and feeble woman. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. I would say this of you, Your Majesty. Do we judge a man by his strength or by his gentleness? Do you judge a man by his power or his humility? Do you judge a person for how fierce he is or by the love he has for his kingdom and his people? I say that is embodied in Suda, who has questioned me many times that he is worthy. He is not worthy of this accolade. Who questioned himself he had called all others worthy and said, I will never be that. Suda, you have no word in that. It's the ground that shakes beneath your feet that shows that you are a peer. 
for all that you have given, for every tear you have shed, all the duties that you have done, and you have done them not for yourself, but for others. That is a fear. The love that we have for each other has been shown here today. It is most fitting that he is the last one to receive this award today. For he shows us who we can be. Young people, all those who received awards today, this is what you're looking to be. He is going to be your leader into the future. But yet he will take a back seat to make sure that you are better than he is. Your Majesties, your Highnesses, who look strangely familiar to me, <laughs> and all of the crowned heads that sit before you, please witness and see that today, right has been done. This is the newest peer in the Pelican. I give him to you. So, hi, I am Effing Thomas. I am a member of your Order of Defense. Traditionally, we speak to perseverance of a candidate when we discuss them at peerage elevations. However, today, I'm taking a page from our friends in the mid realm and speaking about esprit de corps. When I first stepped up as the Baron of Carolingia, or even before that, we went to a Runnymede dinner, and Souter was one of the first people to really just look at me, shake my hand, and then say, look, this is a big deal, but there are no unique situations, and we're all here to help each other and just get through this. And he meant it, which I did not expect. Because I figured, you know, most of the time in the SCA, we're not so great about training people up for jobs. It's just kind of a, oh, cool, you're willing? Great. Here you go. It's a job. His counsel, his advice, his ability to make us feel like we're not actually going crazy when we're probably going crazy has been so instrumental to my experience as a member of Runnymede, and I'm sure many others, because he was in it before I started, he was in it after I left. That is dedication, and he is one of the best of us. So, thank you for doing this today. Why, yes, there is. <laughs> 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 I would never get away with that. <laughs> to know Suter is to know one thing. That, above all, he values family. I have been blessed to have him join my family in the SCA, God, eight, nine years. And through that time, I have watched him grow. I have watched him lead. I have watched him take on one of the hardest jobs in the East, and that's Viceroy of Uskar. With Lada beside you, you did no wrong. That people know about, and there's paperwork to back up. <laughs> 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 right, Audrey? You'll say yes. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> you have been a loyal son of the East. You have been a loyal father to Anne de Beguine. 
Sorry. Who's card? <laughs> And the last one's going to tell you why I'm a little choked up. Distraction. <laughs> and you have been the brother I've never had. You are my peer. And there is still time. Do you still want the, do you want the protege belt now? No. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm there, there's still time. No? Okay. Still no one responsible for my shit. <laughs> Your Majesties, I cannot recommend this man higher to you. It would be remiss if I didn't say, This is me swearing, filthy, so shut your gulps! <laughs> I didn't say swearing. <laughs> I do not fear this sword. It is the sword of the East, and it has already pierced my heart. It lies here. And if I should ever stray, may it strike me down further to pin me down more to this place that I love. The crowns, to the east, and to its people. Everyone, this is where my heart lies. Pierced by this sword. And upon my arm and sleeve is where my heart truly lies. They are one. I swear that I will always be faithful. That I will bring others up. And I will be there in their times of need as much as I possibly can. I swear this to all the people in the crown and the east. And put more trust in the ability of character than in an oath. It is not the oath that makes us believe the person, but the person the oath. So I, Mohammed. And I, Kartika, believe your words to be true. Know your words to be true. And accept your vow. And in return, we offer you a more peace and, and justice. justice. Is there a medallion? There is two. <laughs> I realize there is one thing I did forget to say. That I said that I would say for another. The emblems you bestow upon me are but the symbol. The heart is where the pelican truly lies. Thank you. by Stefan of Silverforge. Oh, it's wow. gorgeous. Medallion from Judith the Confused. <laughs> Have no confusion making this for you, that is for sure. Is there a cap? No, there is no cap, there is a coronet. Alright, so there's a small story here. <laughs> okay, so, so what happened was uh, when Suter and Lana stepped down from being uh, their excellency's host guard. Um, they were awarded court baronies, and we at the time did not have coronets 
uh, that reflected uh, their station. And so this is based on a 14th century uh, Mongol crown. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, nice. oh, 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 it, it bears the proper insignia. And uh, when you have a moment, uh, this one's Lottos. <laughs> service with honesty and sacrifice sincere true will has been seen we grant and bestow the order of the pelican patent by us anno societatis 57 tiger's year 10th moon 26th day at the moment we are at the shire of rusted woodlands so we have written words by Puppy, I'm not going to try to mangle your name, but it's by Puppy. Translation and alliteration by Puppy. And Bambar Goa, with thanks to Bayan Baraj Dasharaj. There you go. Calligraphy and illumination by Master Natalia. For Suter, newest member of the Order of the Pelicans! Because! Because! 